You're watching Anderson County Sports TV. Hello everyone and welcome to Glen Drury Court for tonight's volleyball matchup between the Lady Bearcats and the Lady Bears of Spencer County. This is an important matchup. It's a district match. Um, Anderson County comes in here at 10 and 6 on the year 1 and 3 in district and Spencer County 12 and 6 on the year and they are 1 and 2 in district play so um, right now Spencer County I think is uh, second and uh, Anderson I think is fourth but they haven't played each other yet this year so if they can get a victory here they can uh, hopefully move into that uh, one of the top two seeds. Wilford County right now is running away with it. We'll be back with the uh, starting lineups and the first serve right after this on Anderson County Sports TV. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And by Anderson Apothecary. The cure for the common drugstore. That's Anderson Apothecary. And by Hurricane Bay Car Wash. Voted once again the best car wash in Anderson County. Welcome back, folks. We've just had the introduction of the lineups, the national anthem. I'd like to point out that Spencer County is coached by Doug Cohn, C-O-A-N. And Anderson County is coached by Ryan Brown. He's assisted by Ashley Couch and Suzanne Lilly. The Bearcats run a 5-1 offense. And that means their setter is always the setter, no matter where she is in the rotation. And Kaylee Clark will be the person assigned to that duty. As you can see in the white jersey is the libero, Jennifer Lee. She will not start. Jennifer won't, but as soon as they get the lineup checked, my guess is she'll probably be coming into the game. And it looks like... Uh, Kaylee Clark is going to go back there and be the first server. And there we've had the lineup check, and there is Jennifer Lee. Also starting, but just uh, came out of the game, was um, Jenna Sparrow. I believe Sierra Kostenbader is in there, and a Grace McGregor wearing 33 is in there. Lauren Emmons at 20 is on the floor. And Morgan Wells, number 15, is out there for the Bearcats. All right, we are ready to serve it up. And jump serve coming from Kaylee Clark. A tip in the middle over the top. And Lady Bears. Get the first point here. They will play the best out of five. This is a district game. Abby Kemper, a senior, serves it up for Spencer County. There's a set and a strong hit and a good effort. And I'm not sure who that was that hit it. It may have been Morgan Wells. I'm not really sure. Did not see. Anna Grace back to serve now for the Bearcats. One to one. Our setter is out that time as Katie Clark had to take the first ball. But a good job. Dug up nicely there by Anna Grace. And a good play by the Lady Bearcats there as they get a point, take the lead, two to one, off of Anna Grace's serve. 
Anna Grace is playing the in the right back, but if you're the server, you can serve anywhere along that back row. Nice dig there by Kaylee. And Emmons is the backup setter. She's doing a fine job, and Jenna Sparrow puts it down off the block. Three to one, another little jump floaty doesn't get over the, the net, however. And Jennifer Lee will come in for Anna Grace. Back to serve for the Lady Bears is Aaron Gribe, I believe, G-R-I-E-B. It could be Grebe, but I was always taught that when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So we'll say her name is Aaron Gribe. Tied up now, three to three. Well executed play there by Spencer County. Costin Bader ups it. Emmons with the swing off the block. And Spencer County puts it over. Jennifer Lee into the net, dug up by Sparrow, and a nice save there by Morgan Wells. That's going to, oh, I thought that might have been four hits, but uh, no such call. Nice up there by the Libero Lee. Oh, smart hit into the corner. Well played by the Lady Bearcats. They go up four to three. On paper, this looks to be a pretty competitive match tonight. And so far, it's been just that. The Lady Bears are making sure that uh, they hit the ball to Clark. She's doing a lot more bumping than she is setting right now. Lauren Emmons, though, the backup setter is doing a pretty fair job. Oh, little communication error there between Lee and Wells, and it falls in between them. It'll be four to four. We got another left-sided server here. I think that's Tori Hansen, 28, serving it up. And off for the hands of Morgan Wells. That was a that was a tough one. It it was high, but you couldn't really tell if it was going to go out of bounds or not. So at the last second, she decided to play it. And now Clark was able to set the ball, but Constantator didn't do much with it. Kaylee bumps it up and. Jenna puts it over. Clark with the back row attack. Kind of a free ball here. Let's see what the Bearcats do with it. Jenna Sparrow puts it down. I think that's their free ball play is to sit either Jenna Sparrow or Anna Grace, whoever's playing middle, to give them the ball and they can put it down. Five to five is your score. Emmons served it up. Another free ball play coming here. Here we go again. This side, a slide running from uh, Jenna Sparrow, and the Bearcats get another point. Good serve there by Emmons. That one to Costin Bader off the block and down. Seven to five now. I would say this has been the best rotation so far for the Lady Bearcats. Dug up nicely. They go to Sparrow again, but she hits it into the top of the net. 
Now Emmons comes out of the game and replacing her is Paige, Paige Smith. We also had a sub there for Spencer County. I think uh, Alana Ray comes into the game. She's a freshman wearing number eight. Back to serve, I think, is Maya Williams. Number 98, that's a number you don't often see in volleyball. She's a sophomore. Little trouble there. Jenna puts it over. Costin Bader flat-footed. Nice cut there, a good effort by Smith, but Lady Bears tied up seven to seven. That serves into the net. So now the junior, Libero, Jennifer Lee. Bearcats holding on to a one-point lead. They go to 25, not 21, but to 25. The JV sets went to 21, but the varsity sets go to 25. Except the fifth set, if there is one. That's off the block. That's Taylor McMillan, a sophomore for Spencer County. They tie it back up. An uh, errant serve received there by the Bearcats. Now the Lady Bears are on top, 9-8. Anyway, the last set, another uh, trouble receiving serve. And the Bears get two easy ones there. This is Anna Gribe. Anna Grace hits the slide. Doesn't put a lot on it, but it was effective nonetheless. We got a sub for Spencer County is Brittany Barmore. Excuse me, Brindley Barmore comes in. This is Sierra Carson Bader. Hits that net, trickles over. It's an ace. 10-10, now your score. Our up ref tonight is Steve Spradlin. Our down ref, A.J. Johnson. Or actually, Anissa. And I believe we've got a... Didn't catch the violation. I don't know if she was in the net or... That serve was long. Actually, I think it was a back row attack. He said she was a back row player that came forward and jumped and contacted the ball above the net. And that's why the Bearcats got the ball. But then they serve out of bounds, and it's tied 11 all. Morgan Wells calls Kaylee Clark off. She sets it instead, and Lee hit it over. A nice bump here. Clark bumps it to Wells. Into the net, but pretty sure it would have been stuffed either way had it gone over. And a gribe the libero. Good pass here. They go to Wells. And a Grace played a smart move and just saw an opening on the court and puts it over. Doesn't bother trying to run the offense, so let's just uh, end this right now. All right. We've got Emmons back into the game, and seeing her first action is 25, Bella Bailey-Sims, who had a great uh, 
JV match, although the Bearcats went down quickly in the JV game. Kaylee Clark serves it up. Emmons off the block. That was a big swing there by 28, Tori Hansen. Thirteen twelve. Lady Bears on top of the Lady Bear Cats. They set Costumator in the back row, but she puts it into the net. Fourteen twelve now. Emmons, tight pass. Good swing, but again, into the net. Coach Ryan Brown with the score 15 to 12. His team trailing by three. Calls a timeout. We'll take it with them back here in a minute on Anderson County Sports TV. Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked, nothing. He, he'll be there. John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him, and you'll like him just as much as we do. Back to action here. And that serve is right on the line. Emmons let it go, but. And uh, Coach Brown decides to serve for her. Paige Smith comes into the game. We've got a new sponsor this year. Our thanks to Ideal Roofing. As Bella Bailey Sims is hit, I can't really tell if it was into the net if it was blocked down or actually I think it was blocked out of bounds. So the Bearcats got that point. So it's 13-16. But we want to thank Ideal Roofing for a sponsor. So we hope that uh, if you're in the need for a roof that we'll give them a call. My buddy Todd Gravitt is their local representative. Seventeen thirteen. Costabater bumps it up. Clark sets it. It's rolled. Clark bumps it up. Bailey Sims tips it. Nice tip by Bella. Just beyond the block. They're going to take her out and put Morgan Wales in to serve. 14-17. Good swing there by the Lady Bears Taylor McMillan. She's just a sophomore. 18-14. Bearcats need a side out and a couple of scores. Another nice serve by Tori Hansen. Talking to Coach Brown earlier, he, he said the thing that most concerned him about this Spencer County team is the fact that they're tall. And Wells wisely lets that one go out of bounds. 15-19, now your score. Smith comes out and Emmons comes back in. And, uh, you know, when you're tall, you've got an advantage in volleyball. You've got to play a little bit better defense to beat a team like that. Emmons bumps it over to Lee. Dug up by the Spencer County libero. 
cross court shot and it's in there. 20 to 15. Smith comes back in for Emmons. We got a double sub coming in for Spencer County. Maya Williams comes in. She's going to serve. And then Alana Ray also comes back into the game. Nice up there by Jennifer. And Jenna Sparrow back into the game now. And quickly out of the game. She's replaced by Anna Grace. But Jenna gets the point, puts it down. Jennifer Lee serves it up. Another free ball perhaps here. And that's close. But the Bearcats were able to keep it up, keep it going. It's blocked up, dug up. Oh, good effort there by Wells and Smith. Lee bumps it up. Here's Costin Bader. Oh, that's got to be a double contact. Yes, it is. So the Bearcats get another point. This is what they need, a little run here to get back in this thing. 17-20. Another nice serve. That ball just got across the net and died on Anna Gribe. 18-20. That's tight, and a little mix up there. The, it didn't seem like uh, anybody was moving to the ball. You would think the setter would at least uh, start in that direction, and we've got a, a double sub coming in here for Spencer County. We've got Ray coming out of the game, and Abby Kemper coming back in. We also have Williams coming out of the game, and I did not see who replaced her. I think it may have been McMillan, maybe. Lee serves it to Gribe. Libero, another free ball here for the Bearcats. They've had some success. A nice swing, but dug up by Spencer County. And a Grace tips it over. That's into the net. I think the Bearcats may have just tied this game up. They have 20-20. Crawl score shot in the gap. Spencer County back on top, 21-20. Spencer County still has both of their timeouts left. Anderson County has one timeout left. In the game for Larry, for the uh, Lady Bears, Cassidy Goss. Where's number 20? Clark to Costin Bader. It's blocked, but dug up. And Spencer County just saw a, a hole in the court there in the back corner and puts it in there. And Coach Ryan Brown calls his second timeout, trailing by two, 22 to 20. You're watching Anderson County Sports TV. Today's game is brought to you in part by Hurricane Bay Car Wash, voted once again the best car wash in Anderson County. Hurricane Bay Car Wash, open 24 hours and located right next door to Wendy's, on U.S. Highway 127 South. There we see Coach Ryan Brown giving some instruction to his team. 22 to 20, Spencer County on top by two here in set one. So if Lady Bearcats are unable to uh, come out on top in this one, that's they still got time to regroup. But it'd be nice to get that first one. But first, they've got to stop this serve. And good job by Clark to set that ball. A dink.
Lady Bears weren't uh, weren't buying any of that uh, close net play, and he sent it back and got the point. Nice bump, Anna Grace puts it down. 21-23 with Coston Bader back to serve. Spencer County still has both of their timeouts. Coston Bader puts it over in that corner. Nice set here. Good up by Coston Bader. And this is Wells sending it over. That was a little bit of a throw, but uh, no call. 24-21. Bella Bailey Sims comes back in for Morgan Wells. This is a set point here. Good up. Clark gives it to Grace and her Grace, and she puts it down. The Bearcats are still alive, and they've got arguably their best server. Kaylee Clark serves it up. She bumps it up. Bella sets it, but it's blocked. Emmons with the swing, and Spencer County wins the first set, 25-22. We'll be back with the second set right after this on Anderson County Sports TV. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. All right, the lineup checks have taken place. We're ready for set two here. A little bit of a different starting lineup for the Lady Bearcats as Bella Bailey Sims is in there. And perhaps a little confusion that time. It was a good bump to Kaylee Clark and she made a set, but no one appeared to know what to do with it. This is Bailey Sims, and she puts it down. Paige Smith has also started the game there, and she's replaced by Laura Emmons, Lauren Emmons. Clark with the jump serve. Hard hit and mishandle there by Emmons. Abby Kemper serving it up for the Lady Bears of Spencer County and that's off the fingertips of Lauren Emmons. She's had a a rough couple of plays and she'll be coming out of the game and Smith will come back in replacing her. Smith bumps it up, Clark sets it, and a grace somehow gets it to trickle over the net. And the Lady Bearcats get the point. Anderson County trails by one, two serving three. Jenna Sparrow into the game, replacing Anna Grace McGregor. And that's that big hitter they've got in the middle there. 
They've got to get a block on her. That's Tori Hansen, 28. And if she gets a set that good, she is putting it down. And I think she had an open net. Sparrow knocks it over. They go in the deep corner. Costabator sends it just long. I think I noticed in the last game with the Lady Bearcat defense was the back row was creeping up just a little bit too much toward the front. And I think Spencer County realized that. Jennifer Lee, oh, that's a nice stab there by Spencer County. I'll have to give him credit for that. That was uh, looking pretty sharp. Jenna Sparrow, though, hits it off the block and down. And now Morgan Wells will come back replacing Bella Bailey Sims. She will serve. Bearcats trailing by two, three serving five. And there's the big hitter, and they're saying it was blocked in bounds. So Bearcats get the point. And another point for the Anderson County ties it up, five all. They hung tough with the uh, Lady Bears of Spencer County in that first set, but just couldn't pull it out, losing by about three, I believe it was. 25-22. Jennifer Lee makes a diving effort, but to no avail. Lady Bears get the point, and this is the tall drink of water, Tori Hansen back to serve. Dug up nicely by Lee, and that is off a Lady Bear player. Out of bounds, and is tied up again. Smith will come out, and Emmons will come in to serve. A little bit of a free ball here. They set Sparrow on the slide, but I don't think it ever cleared. Good idea, though. 7-6, Spencer County. This is Mackenzie Brown. She served it, she dug it there. Custom Bader gets it up to Smith. Jennifer Lee will put it over, but it's long. Eight six. Clark calls for that one. Spencer County has a free ball here. There's, there's that spot. I don't know who is supposed to cover that, but they may be playing a little bit too close to the net. Spencer County sees it. Drops it in there. Costin Bader with the tip. Nice play. The power dink by Sierra Costin Bader. Anna Grace McGregor comes back into the game for the libero, Jennifer Lee and Jenna Sparrow. 
We'll serve it up. Good up there by the Bearcats. I think that may have been Wells. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky play by the setter, Abby Kemper. Takes it over on two, caught the Bearcats just a little bit unaware. Nice pass here. And there it is again. Into that back left corner. I think Coach Doug Cohn saw something and said, send it over there, girls. Ryan Brown calls his first time out of the second set. They trail 11-7. Today's game is brought to you in part by Hurricane Bay Car Wash. Voted once again the best car wash in Anderson County. Hurricane Bay Car Wash. Open 24 hours and located right next door to Wendy's on U.S. Highway 127 South. Talking to assistant coach Ashley Cass before the game and that's her with a clipboard. We'll get back to us. There she is. The Bearcats knew that uh, Spencer County was going to be a tough team. Second so far in the district. Behind Woodford County, who is Woodford County's 5-0. That's going to be tight. And a good play at the net there by Clark and McGregor. Bella will replace Morgan. Sierra will go back to serve. Eight serving 11 here in set number two. Anderson County trailing one to zero in sets. Jennifer Lee bumps it up. They set it to Anna Grace. And we've got a net violation. Like Anna Grace swung and Too much on the follow through. 12 to eight, Bears on top. Nice bump set here to Bella, but maybe uh, just a little bit too tight for her. 13-8. That ball may have had some movement on it. Sometimes they get those uh, serves that look like a knuckleball coming at you. Katie takes it over on two. Big swing into the net for Spencer County. So the Paracats will serve it now. Kaylee Clark, the setter, will now be the server. <clears throat> Nine serving 14. Short serve. And really, other than that, Tory Hanson, Spencer County is not beating Anderson County with uh, with power. It's just uh, finesse sometimes. Just hitting the ball where they ain't. There's that back corner spot again, and <clears throat> I think that's Kaylee Clark's. Uh, in this particular rotation, that's her job. But it, it's hard when you run a 5-1 and Clark is the setter. She wants to stay close to the net because that's where she's probably going to have to go to get the second hit. She sends it over. And there's that big swing. Oh, dug up bowl by Jennifer Lee. Nice dig, Jennifer. And that's a mishandle. Good call by Steve Spradlin, the up official. Jenna Sparrow back into the game. Jennifer Lee serves it up. Bearcats trail by 6, 10, 16. 
Bears roll it. And here's Sparrow. She's blocked, it's Doug. The Bears doing a little bit better job covering their back corners and a little mix up there. I think uh, the Bearcats thought that ball may be going over, but it did not. 17 serving 10. Spencer County starting to pull away in this one. Good, good catch there by Clark. Bad catch just a little out of out of sync right there, out of system, as they say. Emmons comes out, Smith comes in, 18-10. Good up by Lee, a set from Clark to Sparrow, and the Bears unable to hand it, handle it, and uh, Anderson County gets a point, finally. 11, serving 18, this is Morgan Wells. Dory Hansen is blocked. I don't know if that was Sparrow or Costin Bader, but that's something you got to have. And they had it. Costin Bader probably tried to go high hands on that one, hoping somebody would touch her ball, but nobody did, and it went out of bounds. 19 to 11. But uh, Hansen's time on the front row. Uh, not quite as effective as it was in the previous rotation, but the Bears still had a lot of success while she was up there. 12-19. Emmons will come in to serve for Paige Smith. That's a good play there by the Bears. And this time, the Bearcats are able to uh, cover that back corner. Hard hit ball. Lee tried to play it. But that was a nice swing by Spencer County's number 23, Abigail Wernert. Twenty serving twelve. <laughs> Quick reaction there by Kaylee Clark. Gives the Bearcats a point. Lee comes out. McGregor comes in. Sparrow goes back to serve. 13 serving 20. Set two. Anderson County down 1-0. Oh, it's a nice up there by their libero, but their hit is long. That's Anna Gribe is the uh, libero for Spencer County. She hit the floor to get that ball up. 14 serving 20. And either Carson Bader or McGregor just roofed that ball. I think it may have been Carson Bader as McGregor gave her a little tap. But congratulations. Oh, good up there. The 
they hit it down. You know, I was talking about Hanson earlier being a big hitter. Well, McMillan's no slouch either. 21 serving 15. She's not as tall as Hanson, but boy, she sure hits the ball hard. Four contacts. 22-15. Coach Brown still has a timeout in his pocket, but my guess is he's probably just going to keep it there unless the Bearcats uh, win a point and get a few. Smith gets it up. Costin Bayer swings off the block and down. Bella Bailey Sims back in for Morgan Wells. Costin Bader will go back to serve. 16, serving 22. Jump serve. That's another strong hitter there. That's Cassidy Goss. Going line. And had room to spare, 23-16. Gribe serves it up. McGregor hits it over. Goss again. And wow, she just uh, rears back, cocks the gun, and pulls the trigger. Sims hits it in the net, and that's the uh, second set, 25-16, Spencer County, the victors. They lead in sets, 2-0. We'll be back with the third set right after this. Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked nothing to eat. He'll be there. John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him and you'll like him just as much as we do. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Set three about to get underway here. There's our server. Anderson County will be serving as Kaylee Clark. She's also the setter, the main setter. The Bearcats run a 5 1 offense. I'm not real sure what Spencer County uh, runs. I think they're maybe running a 5 1 also, but I haven't really paid a lot of attention, to be totally honest. Right now on the floor, also for the Bearcats. Let's take a look, see. That's Sierra Costin Bader. Anna Grace McGregor talking to Coach Ryan Brown. There's Jennifer Lee waiting to come in as soon as the lineup check is complete. And we got a someone that has not seen action so far yet tonight uh, out there. That's Sakira Minion, number eight. Number seven is Jenna Sparrow. And I think that's Morgan Wells. Uh, there in profile. Wearing 15, I believe that's her. All right, so now we're back. Lineup check is over. Jennifer Lee's into the game. And Doing her pregame ritual there with uh, Sierra. Spencer County leads two to zero in this uh, match. Best three out of five, so the Bearcats need this one to hang on. They're up one to nothing right now in set number three. And oftentimes, 
That's another hit by Hanson, but boy, that looks awfully close to a throw to me. I, I don't know, but Steve Spradlin has a much better view than I do from where he's at, so I'll take his word for it. But when one team is up two to nothing, oftentimes coaches will experiment a little bit, and that might be why we see uh, Minion in there for Anderson County, and there may be a, a new face here on the Spencer County side as well. I haven't really paid attention. Two to one, the score. The Bearcats on top. Jenna Sparrow serves it up. And that hit is through. That's Abigail Wernert. She's a senior. Ties it up two to two. Aaron Greib will serve. Minion puts it up, and there's a free ball coming here for Spencer County. Hanson in the middle, but it's blocked nicely by, Air, uh, by Anna Grace. And she read that one all day, had her dead to rights, and the Bearcats get a point off of it. He hits it and this just starts hopping up and down as soon as you hit it like ah she wanted that one back she knew she put a little bit too much on it sometimes those liberals when the balls hit hard you, you, you don't really hit the ball you hit the ball hit you nice up Constant Bader sends it wide ever so slightly but wide nonetheless Four to three, Spencer County on top as Hanson will serve. She's got a good serve. Dug up nicely though, and I think that set caught Minion off guard a little bit, but she zinks it over and Spencer County can't handle it, so Bearcats tie it back up. Four to four. Smith comes in for Minion. She will serve. That's a ball that, again, that looks like it was thrown to me, but. And that's blocked inbounds. I don't know if that's Anna Grace again that got that one or what, but gives the Bearcats a lead, five to four. That ball's hit long. And now, Doug Cohn, the coach of the Lady Bears, calls his first time out of the match. Anderson County up 6-4. to four. Today's game is brought to you in part by Anderson Apothecary, the cure for the common drugstore. Anderson Apothecary, just across the street from the high school on Highway 127. Right now, the Lady Bearcats are enjoying the first lead they've had in some time. Six to four here in set three. They trail two sets to one. This is Paige Smith serving it up for Lady Bearcats. She bumps it up. Clark and a grace tools it off the block. About as hard as I've seen how Grace hit it tonight. Another uh, good serve and another good delay out there by the libero for Spencer County. And Anna Grace on the slide. Scores again. Eight to four. And I don't really think... Uh, 
Spencer County has that many, uh, if any, different players on the floor. And Grace hits it. Oh, good hustle there by Spencer County, but they can't get it over. I think they have their usual suspects out there, I believe. Uh, number 10. Nope, that's Aaron Greed or Gribe. Uh, so, yeah. It's not like Anderson County is scoring against the second string here. They're, they still have their starters in here in the third uh, set. We got some McMillan. Taylor McMillian. M-I-L-L-I-A-N. The sophomore. They pulled the trigger that time. Five serving nine. Jennifer Lee ups it. This is Costin Bader. Hits it over there in the corner. Ten to five. Bearcats on top here in set three. Million again into the net. Anderson County extends their lead. 11 to 5, and Doug Cohn has already called one of his two timeouts that he gets every set. But Lee's serve is into the net. This is Jenna on the slide, but her ball is blocked and she ups it. And that's out. That's another ball that I thought was thrown, but doesn't matter. It's out anyway. 12 serving six. Sierra Costin Bader will do the honors. Sierra is just a junior. And she gets an ace, 13 to six. Anderson County really is a, kind of a young team. They've got uh, Anna Grace and Paige Smith, and I think those are the only two seniors on the team. This time that cut by Cosmeter was picked up. Still a nice cut though. Jenna Sparrow hits it wide to the right. Seven serving 13. Hanson, it's partially blocked there by Sparrow, but They've got Goss on the front line, too. She and uh, Hanson are switching so that Hanson hits middle and Goss hits strong side. Three ball here coming for the Lady Bears. They go to Hanson and she delivers as usual. I think Sparrow was up there for the block, but Hanson put a little bit more angle that time. Nine serving 13. They take Wells out, bring in uh, Emmons. That's tight to the net. And we've got Sparrow into the net, so it'll be a point to Spencer County. They're coming back into this thing now. Ten to thirteen. 
but they give it right back. 14-10. Minion comes back in. Clark serves. Emmons, Clark sets. Minion swings. Drag up by the Bears. A little confusion, but they do get it over. They go to Sparrow this time. It's blocked. Dug up by Goss. Now Goss will swing. Clark, Emmons, and Hanson Roof Sparrow, but Anderson County recovers. Good job, Lady Bearcats. Fought hard for that point, 15 to 10. Don't think that ever cleared. Another point to the Bearcats, 16 to 10. Clark with the jump serve, and the Bears take it over on two. Catch the Bearcats a little off guard. Wernert checks back into the game for the Bears. Evans swings hard, but is partially blocked and dug up. And that's out. Lee comes out. And a Grace McGregor comes back in. Sparrow serves it up. Now Clark sets Anna Grace. And then goes back corner, but it's picked up by Spencer County. Hanson puts it down. Caution Bader made a good effort, but twelve serving seventeen. We got the other Gribe sister serving now. That was just a little bit too tight to the net for Sakaira. 13-17. Anson County up by four. Emmons off the block and down. And they bring more, uh, Morgan Wells in now to serve for Emmons. 18 serving 13. As her serve goes a little bit wide to the right. Wow, <laughs> that ball it hit the top of the tape and 
bounced over the block and down for Minion. 19-14, and now Paige Smith, one of the two seniors, serves it up, and that hits the tape and caused a little bit of confusion, but Spencer County recovers, and a grace, and the Bearcats get the point. 20 to 14. There's a good swing from the weak side there by Spencer County. Lee hits it long. 15-20. Mackenzie Brown back into the game for the Lady Bears. She'll serve it up and she'll serve it long. 21-15, the Bearcats just four points away from getting a victory here. McGregor comes out, Sparrow comes in. And McMillian puts it down. Goss checks back in now for Lady Bears. hits it in. 22-16. McMillian comes out. Brindley Barmore comes in for the Lady Bears. Emmons comes in for the Bearcats. And Wells sets down. Tossin Bader serves and that is in there. A serve as the Bear defender kind of tripped over her own feet trying to get to it. 23-16, the Bearcats just two points away from winning set three. Sparrow off the block, picked up though by the Bears. Emmons hits it off the block. And now we are at set point. Emmons swings into the block and they say it never cleared. Four hits. 17 serving 24 set point as we have Gribe the libero coming out and then they just because of the way the libero rules are they had to bring in a sub for her and then bring that sub out to put in Maya Williams to serve it up And her serve is into the net, and that is it. The Bearcats take set three, but still trailing sets two to one behind the Lady Bears of Spencer County. Today's game is brought to you by Century Bank. Anderson County is where our heart is. Century Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Today's game is brought to you in part by Hurricane Bay Car Wash. Voted once again the best car wash in Anderson County. Hurricane Bay Car Wash. Open 24 hours and located right next door to Wendy's on U.S. Highway 127 South. All right, the Bearcats in a must-win situation again. They trail in this district matchup to Spencer County, two sets to one.
And they gotta win this one to get it to a, a fifth set. If they don't, Spencer County goes home the victor. Goss hits it hard. One to one now. Clark said Sparrow off the block. Nice down. And Sparrow will go back to serve. Lee goes out. Anna Grace McGregor comes in. That's awful tight. Anna Grace up at the net. Roof serve. Three to one. This is Hanson. They're got nicely by Clark, though, and she will swing from the back row, but into the net. Lee runs on the floor for Anderson County. A sparrow comes down. We got a double sub situation here going for Spencer County. McMillian comes in, didn't catch the other one. Carson Bader's set is uh, wow, what a. <laughs> what a good one-handed fist set there by Clark. As Hanson throws it down. Tied up, three to three. And that's not gonna go over. Bearcats got out of sync early on that play. Four to three. Again, I want to thank one of our, our newest sponsor, Ideal Roofing. They're, uh, they're in several places in, uh, in and around central Kentucky and in other states. They're in Alabama and But they can uh, they can take care of all your roofing needs. With well, the score tied up four to four, Coach Ryan Brown calls timeout. This is Anderson County Sports TV. Hello, Miss Sylvia. This is John from Anderson Apothecary. I was just calling to see how you were feeling today. John goes above and beyond for each and every customer that we have. He jumped right on it. If someone needed help, John would be the first guy there. No questions asked. Nothing to eat. He'll be there. John just wanted to open a hometown pharmacy just to take better care of his customers. Well, I sure am glad you're feeling better. We're going to be bringing your medication by here just shortly. Is there anything else I can pick up for you? If you haven't met John yet, come out and meet him, and you'll like him just as much as we do. Morgan Wells will serve it up for the Lady Bearcats. Hanson with his swing, but I don't think it ever cleared. Bearcats with the lead, five to four here in set four. Obviously, if we're in set four, that means that one team really needs to win to stay alive, and that one team is Anderson County. Lady Bears tie it back up five all. Secure Minion is back in there for the Bearcats. Hanson serve trickles over the tape. Gosh, I hate when that happens. Unless I'm the one doing it, of course. Six to five now is the score. Minion ups it. Clark tracks it down, but 
The Bearcats had to send over a free ball and Wells bumps that one up, but it's going to be out of bounds. And Seven to five, Spencer County. It's an ace serve right down the line. Wells made a lunge for it. Bearcats bring in Paige Smith, the senior. Hoping maybe a little bit more experience will, will help him out here as Hanson goes down the line again. But Smith ups it, gets the set from Clark, hits it over. They get to Clark, and Smith is going to set the ball. Had to since Clark, the normal setter, hit the first ball. Another smart play by the Bears. If you're going to send over a, an easy ball, you send it over to their setter so that somebody else has to set the ball. And oftentimes, that somebody else gets called for a double contact. Set to Anna Grace, but it's bumped up. Lee picks it up. This is McMillian with the swing. Lee gets it up in the air. Clark sends it over. Nice play there by one of the Grive girls. A diving slide, but her teammates can't help her out, and Anderson County has the ball trailing by three here in set four. Costin Bader with a nice cut. And that ball was uh, roofed by McGregor. Smith serving for the Bearcats. Now that's out. Scoreboard says 10 to 6. Uh, one of us is off because I I thought Anderson County had seven points, but I could be wrong. Costin Bader with a swing. Off the block, was picked up by the Bears. Thought we might see McGregor on the slide, but uh, it was just a fake for Costin Bader to get an open swing, and this time, McMillian hits it long. Anna Grace goes out. Jenna Sparrow comes in. Lee serves. Free ball coming here for the Bearcats. While they do, they hit it. Jenna Sparrow with the slide, but she's not able to put much on it. Got some ugly volleyball there for a second, but now we're back to normal. Costin Bader though hits it into the net. That'll make it 11 to 7. As Goss checks back into the game, replacing the younger Gribe sister, and McMillian serves it into the net. So it's 8 serving 11. Wells comes out, Emmons comes in, Costin Bader goes back to serve. And she's going to get an ace. 9 to 11.
Farrell with his swing blocked out of bounds. It'll be Bearcat point. Ten serving eleven. Carson Bader serves into the net. Now we have twelve serving eleven. Both both points scored. A, a, both teams got a point on that one. That doesn't make any sense. I. I see Anissa Johnson over there talking to the score. We'll see if the scoreboard has an adjustment later on. Or if they had it wrong before. That was in there. And that uh, ties it up, apparently. Minion comes back in for Smith. Kaylee Clark goes back to serve. And her serve is wide right. Abby Kemper will serve it now for Spencer County. They're up by one according to the scoreboard, 13 to 12. Sparrow hits it off the block. And the Bearcats tie it back up, 13 all. Sparrow serves, Lee goes out, McGregor comes in. This is Hanson, she puts it down. Bearcats need to get the Bears out of this rotation. They got some big hitters up there on the front row. Aaron Grieve, the sophomore, or Gribe, G R I E B, serving now, just back into the game. Clark to Lee. Here's Hanson again, and my goodness. That ball did not, uh, it bounced not too far beyond the 10 foot line. That's what a little bit of height will do for you. And or hops. Another tape trickler. Not a lot you can do about that. 16-13, Lady Bears on top by three. I think both teams have their, have both timeouts. And a Grace tools it off of Hanson, 14-16. Emmons will serve for the Lady Bearcats. Coach Brown talking to Minion over there on the near side. This is Hanson dug up. Clark to Kostenbader off the block. Gribe to Libero digs it. McMillian puts it off the top of the hands of Kostenbader. Seventeen fourteen. Hansen will serve. That's another good serve as it got across the net and just died. Lee got a hand on it, but couldn't do much with it. And that was too long. 15 serving 18. We've got Smith coming in for the freshman minion. She will serve it up for the Lady Bearcats. Back set. I think Anna Grace was there, but blocks it into the net. 19-15. Lady Bears. It's 
another one of those tape trickers. Man, the Lady Bears have gotten a luck is on their side tonight with those things. 2015. That one's into the net, however. Bearcats down by four. 16 serving 20, but Coach Brown still has both timeouts, I believe. Lee serves it up. The younger Gribe bumps it. A million gently taps it over. Dug up by the senior uh, Gribe, Grebe. And McMillian hits that one into the net. Tried to cut it too hard. 17 to 20. Jennifer Lee, the junior libero. Tipped over, dug up by the Bearcats. Costenbader swings, never cleared. Twenty-one seventeen. Bearcats trail by four, and the Lady Bears just need four to win the match. And that one's into the net, but both Clark and Sparrow were there to, to block it in case it didn't. 18 serving 21. Costin Bader, wow, what a serve. Free ball coming. Emmons cuts it. Good, good job by the Bears to pick it up, and that's going to be in there. Twenty-two, eighteen. 18 Gribe Bader hits it over on one. Not sure she meant to do that. Sparrow dug up. But not successfully. 19 to 22, the freshman minion comes back in for the senior Smith as Clark goes back to serve. Hansen puts it, hits it hard, but Clark digs it up. Nice dig by Kaylee Clark. Here we go again, Hansen with the light touch this time, knowing that the Lady Bearcats will be back on their heels after that first hard hit. She just drops it in front of them, 23-19. Two points from a match win for Spencer County. Free ball coming over here. They go to Hanson. No, they, uh, they fake Hanson. They go weak side instead. Over to Wernert. And she drops it in there. With a little tip. Smart play by the Bears that time. I will say they've, they're manipulating the Bearcat defense a little bit by you think a hard hit is coming from the big hitter Hanson. The line judge calls that one out. Spencer County fans uh, argue. Steve Sparrow overrules him, says, nope, that was in there. And that is the match, folks. Bearcats fought hard against a talented and tough Spencer County team. Bearcats now fall one to four in district play, and the Bears go to two and two in district play. Thank you for watching Anderson County Sports TV. Have a good night, everyone.